Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be creating a div element that uh, using width and height, both for the window and the object, we're able to place in the very center of the page. Uh, and this is also dependent on uh, moving the window as well. So you can see I've got my code just behind me here. Uh, and you can see that this will stay in the center of the page uh, if we adjust the width uh, or the height of the window. So we constantly place this exactly in the middle of the page. So it's an extremely simple way to do things. We're going to create it a little messily. Uh, this would be good as, for example, as as an example, a plugin. Uh, but we're going to go and create it just very messily, but just using the width and height to calculate where we should place this. Uh, it's not as easy as placing it at half the width and half the height. You have to then, you know, subtract subtract off of the um, actual object, the half of the object height and width as well. But we'll we'll cover that. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at the code, um, or go into our text editor and start writing out the code for this. Okay, so the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is create our element, and then we're going to apply some styling to it. You'll notice I've included style.css on the page, uh, and as well as jQuery, obviously, because we're using jQuery and ext.js as well. So let's go ahead and just create this div, and then we can start to style it and preview it in our browser. Um, I've created a div, and I'm going to give this an ID of very center. And let's just go ahead and refresh the page. You can see nothing, but the div does exist here. So let's go ahead into style.css and actually go ahead and style this. So very center. And we're gonna apply a few properties to this. The first one is the height. So I'm gonna have this at 150 pixels. Uh, then the width, again, 150 pixels. Uh, I'm gonna set a background color of black just so we can see where it is properly. Uh, let's just refresh. You can see that we've got that there. Uh, let's just change that to 250, sorry. And lastly, what we want to do is we want to set the position to absolute. And what this is gonna allow us to do is use top and left inside of jQuery. We're not gonna do anything else to this style, uh, this um, div styling, uh, but position absolute means that we can move it around on the page exactly where we want. It's it's fixed to our own custom position. We can choose where we want it. So for example, I could say top 20 pixels, and you can see that shifted 20 pixels from the top, or left 200 pixels, uh, and that will have shifted 200 pixels from the left. So we're gonna be using the top and left to move this around, and therefore we need position set to absolute. Okay, so now that we've created our div on index.php and our uh, styling on style.css, we can go ahead and actually start to write this out. And we're gonna be writing the resize action inside of a function, and we're gonna be using the window resize event handler to call this function every time the window's resized, but we're also gonna be calling this function uh, initially so it's set to the middle of the page initially so like I said slightly messy and it would be better used as you know like a plugin or something uh, but for now this will give you the general idea so we want document and we want to apply the ready event handler and inside of here uh, create a function we'll just go ahead and bring that down just the standard notation for when we use jQuery uh, nothing to worry about uh, that's just how we write it out so let's go ahead and create our uh, move div function. So function move div. This will essentially, uh, this function will essentially grab the height and the width of the window, the height and the width of the div itself, uh, and then it'll apply some kind of uh, position to this. And then we can, you know, call this function at any time on our on our inside of our document. So the first thing we want to do is establish the window width and the window height. So we use the width and the height to calculate this. So I'm gonna create a variable called window width and that's gonna be equal to window.width. Quite simple, we're using a jQuery selector and we're selecting the window and we're taking the width of the window. Let's go ahead and say window height equals and exactly the same thing, let's just tab these over, window.height. Okay, so let's go ahead and alert out window, or let's go ahead and alert out width x height x, and let's just go ahead and replace these x variables in here. Okay, and we can just uh, append on window 
height. So we're taking the window width uh, from here and we're applying it to a variable called window width. We're taking the height using window height. Obviously window is the current window and it will change depending on where you move it. Uh, and then we're alerting out the width. So in here we can just call this function move div or down here. Uh, so when the document is ready we define this function or we uh, yeah we define this function and then we call the function down here so now when we refresh uh, we get width 950 and height 459 so that's the current uh, width of my window okay so now what we want to do is we don't want to just call that function yet in fact we do because we're going to do some more testing we want to grab the width and the height of the object so I'm going to call this obj width and that's going to equal remember we called our div very center 